We all know pasta perfection can't be found in a tin of alphabeti spaghetti. For the real McCoy, you've got to go to Italy. This pasta factory in Parma is the largest in the world. 1,200 tons of durum wheat is delivered here every day. It's sucked out of these trucks by a giant vacuum. Wheat from other trucks is unloaded in giant sacks. They don't just need any old type of wheat. To get the right texture, they need durum wheat, which is higher in protein than other wheats. Water is added to the wheat and mixes turn it into dough. They're controlled by computers that churn out perfect pasta dough every time. The dough is squeezed through grids which determine the pasta shape. The round holes make spaghetti. A meter and a half is squeezed through and then it's stretched to three meters. Any loose ends are lopped off and head back to the mixer. Once it's stretched and trimmed, the spaghetti needs to be dried so that it holds its shape. That happens in these whopping ovens. They're 200 meters long. The spaghetti will gradually dry at a balmy 70 to 90 degrees Celsius. But they don't just make spaghetti in this factory. This giant pasta sheet is being turned into tagliatelle. It gets dropped into these bowls and then heads off to an oven. A spinning blade cuts the pasta tubes at an angle to make penne. Then the penne is funneled along a vibrating chute towards silos where it'll dry out. The vigorous shaking helps to keep the pasta moving and stops it from sticking together. When it's dried, it tumbles out of the silos and is ready to be packed. The size and number of these giant silos helps give you some idea of just how much pasta is produced here. The spaghetti's dried out too, but it's still got to be cut to size. 26 centimeters to be exact. It's divided up into 500 gram portions, which are then slotted into packets. The scale of production is truly staggering. Every year, this company makes 120 varieties of pasta, with a total weight of over a million tons.